Well, welcome everyone, it's such an honor and a pleasure celebrating this milestone with all of you. I'd like to ask everyone to please rise as we start the ceremony with a special moment of silence. And this moment of silence is there to help us connect to all of the souls of the deceased, of our relatives that are deceased, that are no doubt with us here, enjoying this moment, deriving nachas from this moment, together with all of us. But I'd like to particularly mention just a few of the beloved relatives of the CBT family. They are no doubt with us, smiling, Blessing from the heavens. I'd like to begin first and foremost with Bill Smith. His memorial you may have seen at the entrance of CBT. He was a pioneer, a visionary of this great building and he helped shape and mold our new home. His widow is here today, Eileen. And I have no doubt that Bill is with us with a huge smile on his face with tears in his eyes as he would have and blessing us from the heavens. I'd also like to welcome very great inspiration of mine, of CBT, the late Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson of blessed memory, who is no doubt with us here today. Also happy to see Jews continuing to carry the torch that he wanted to ignite across the world, yes, even in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'd also like to welcome the three boys, for which the cornerstone was dedicated. We are honored today to have Racheli Frankel. We'll soon hear her words. The mother of Naftali, one of the three boys who were kidnapped and murdered so brutally in 2014. In Israel, our community, as many of you know, launched a mitzvah bank in honor of the three boys first so that they can be found and help goodness prevail in the world and then in loving memory of the three boys, thousands of mitzvot were collected. And surely, therefore, they are here celebrating with us also today. Also want to welcome my great-great-grandfather, who was the last rabbi in my family. Rabbi Sidi Bae Eliyahu Alush, the chief rabbi of Constantine, Algeria, who's no doubt shepping nachas, as they say, at this moment, and he's with us. I also want to welcome my aunt, my mother's sister, who actually just passed away a few hours ago in Paris, and that's the reason my mother is not here, but I know that as a soul transitions to the next world, she passes through here and is with us too. And I'd also like to welcome Joseph Lusgarten, who many of you know, was a dear member of our community, who passed away at the tender age of 48 years old. But he was there, he helped us found the minion, in our garage and then in our uh, shopping center or uh, that, uh, that suite. He was there consistently each and every day with love, with passion, with the joy for Judaism that was a true model. I want to welcome him. I want to welcome all of those who are so connected to CBT from the heavens. So again, I'm going to ask Bruce Goldman to open the ark. We can connect to these souls and uh, share our joy with them and that they share their blessings with us. 